This exercise is going to introduce you on how to record audio coming from Ableton Live into Logic Pro 8. Now, to start this process, we need to have both applications open and rewire to one another. Next, we go into Live and choose the Live set that you want to have recorded into Logic Pro 8. Then once you have your live set open, go to the control bar at top, and you're gonna click the record button, and such will arm Ableton Live to record the arrangement that we're gonna create by clicking on either the clips that we have chosen from our set, which once you click on one of the clips, it'll begin recording, as well as clicking on one of the scenes. For the sex size, I'm gonna click on scene one. And for the next part of the arrangement, I'm going to start with scene two by using one of my mini mapped devices. So this will show you that, that your MIDI map device will still work while rewired into Logic Pro. And for the moment, I'm just going to say that my arrangement is just eight measures long. In your case, it might be a great deal longer, but nevertheless, this should make sense just for this exercise's sake and for time. So. Once you have completed your arrangement and you're content with it, go back into Logic Pro 8, just Command Tab. And by the looks of the SPL, as you can tell, Logic will move right along with Ableton Live and the timeline. And to hear back arrangement, hit Return and then Spacebar for playback. So there you go. Our arrangement from Ableton Live is now set and in sync with with Logic Pro's timeline, measure for measure. To this point, our arrangement is set, and from here on, you can add, you can start recording, you know, additional audio tracks or instrument tracks, and live. Then once you have everything completed, and you're going to balance your project, I'm just doing eight measures just for this exercise. Go into balance it via, go into output one and two and just clicking on the bounce button or your icon at top if you have it or file and choose bounce and the mode I'm going to be recording the wave file in will be via offline just to show that it will work but go ahead and bounce save it to the desktop and voila we have recorded audio from Ableton Live into Logic Pro I'll close out all these windows and I will show you how successful we were in getting and getting the audio from Ableton Live into Logic Pro. Well, I hope that answers anyone's questions on how to record the audio from Ableton Live into Logic Pro 8. If there is still further discussion or questions that need to be answered, by all means, contact me and I'll be glad to help you out on this process. Thanks and good luck.